Well, good morning, everyone. I'd like to give you a greeting. Hi, this is Brian Ashpole, uh, pastor at Honolulu Assembly of God here in beautiful Honolulu near real famous Diamond Head. <laughs> and uh, today I'm in a different place. Uh, I'm at uh, First Assembly of God over in Red Hill. And uh, it's a different situation because we have district council this week. It's the 56th district council of the Hawaii Assemblies of God. And so that uh, started last night. Uh, going today and then also tomorrow. So it uh, won't be a regular Bible study this week, but I uh, wanted to give you uh, a couple of uh, uh, greetings, a couple of thoughts. And uh, the first one I wanted to share was a, a thought from last night from Rick DeBost, our special speaker. And Rick DeBost is the Assistant General Superintendent for the uh, Assemblies of God for all of the United States. And he was the speaker last night. And did a great message from Ephesians chapter 6 on standing. Our theme this year is taking a stand. But he, um, as an introduction to that, he gave a, a thought from uh, 2 Samuel 24. And you might remember that situation where the plague is uh, brought to the nation of Israel. And uh, David brought the plague down upon himself and the nation because of uh, numbering people. He was uh, counting on his own strength, counting on the strength of, of man instead of looking to God. And, and God uh, gave him a choice of uh, several uh, options as far as um, uh, re consequences. And, and one was a plague for three days. And you might remember the plague was deadly. Um, but when the plague reached the uh, threshing floor of Arana, one of the men there in Israel at that time in Judah, that God said to uh, stop the plague and he told David to uh, purchase that, uh, to take, to purchase that land, that threshing floor, and then also to uh, perform a, a sacrifice there, an altar. And of course, uh, when David, uh, when David approached around, it was uh, really interesting that what happened was he, he's around and said, Hey, I will. Uh, I'll give you all this land. You know, I mean, he was so overwhelmed by the plague. Uh, but David said, "I will not sacrifice the Lord that which cost me nothing." Just an incredible statement about uh, extravagant worship. You know, he wasn't. He wasn't going to give to the Lord uh, somebody else's gift. He wasn't going to give to the Lord anything that wasn't his best. And so, uh, just an incredible thought there. But what was interesting, of course, was that threshing floor would eventually become the uh, site for the temple that would be the temple mount and uh, god had a plan for it that and um, pastor rick debose pointed out that in the midst of the plague god always has a plan in the midst of the plague god always has a plan you know god doesn't react to situations he doesn't go oh wow there's a plague going i guess we better come up with something no god has a plan already before him and uh, what a powerful plan it was and that there would not only bring an end to the plague but it would big, begin a, an expression of worship, just an incredible uh, opportunity there. And, uh, uh, you know, we're in the midst of a plague, uh, coronavirus pandemic has uh, been, of course, a problem here for us locally and nationally and globally. And you know what? In the midst of the plague, in the midst of this pandemic, God has a plan, friends. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for me. He has a plan for each one of them. Each one of us, he has a plan for his church. And, uh, you know, I just want to encourage you to just put your trust in the Lord and uh, look to him and step out in faith. What does God want to accomplish through you as a result of what you're experiencing at this time? God did a great work through David to, to establish the beginning of the temple. Of course, that was uh, completed under the reign of his son. Solomon, and that's another whole nother story, but uh, God had something great planned, not only for that moment, but for the future. And God has something great planned for you and for me, if we will just put our, our trust in the Lord, keep our eyes on him and know that he has a plan. There's nothing that's too hard for him. God bless. Hey, have a wonderful day and uh, be encouraged today and step up and step out in faith because God has God has a plan. God's got something great for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.